Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well and you all are safe and healthy during this time. This is Radhika here again and this video is going to be about how to recover one's authenticity um, as you know like if you have grown up in a narcissistic family you might have tend uh, you might tend to be a people pleaser uh, which is like the fawning response in the fight or flight mode uh, because like fight or flight is not really just fight and flight fight and flight it's fight flight freeze and fawn right so sometimes you freeze when you are feeling threatened or other times you just give in you know to your um um whoever is threatening you you know i wanted to use the word abuser but probably that doesn't always feel correct because a lot of parents are not really abusers but they don't understand the concept of letting a child be who they are so they might have forced down their beliefs on you and so they might not be like real abuser category uh like their degree might not be of an abuser but uh yeah they might have still done some damage to you by uh maybe putting a lot of expectations on you or a lot of um um pushing down their own beliefs basically and their thought patterns onto you instead of letting you have your own thoughts um so yeah so if you have grown up being a people pleaser and um as an indian i know like in a lot of families this is very common where uh, you have to please everyone you have to do what everyone says and uh, usually in in like joint families and big families it's always like the oldest or the wisest who has to sacrifice or it's the youngest who has to sacrifice um so between these two like like the maybe the wisest old one is like the grandfather so he always will be sacrificing and the youngest one might be like the youngest child of the family so that child might be sacrificing and kind of people pleasing a lot um so if you have been through this pattern and you have kind of lost who you really were or who you could have been if you had given if you had been given that freedom to kind of express yourself the way you wanted to um then this video might help you because uh, what happens is after years of conditioning it becomes very difficult to even understand what is you and what is just a conditioned part of you you might not even know the difference you might be doing so many things repetitively on a daily basis without wanting to do them at all you know um so so yeah if you are in that phase uh, it's uh, first of all don't feel alone because it's not just you who's in this phase a lot of people wake up and understand that i am leading a life that i did not design for myself it has just been put on me and i kind of went with it so if you are in that kind of a situation give yourself time and understand that you are not alone a lot of people uh, go through this awakening sort of a phase and uh, there's many channels online for help uh, this channel being one of them so so yeah so just realize that you're not alone and don't feel overwhelmed even though i know it will feel overwhelming and sad at times that you don't even know who you are um but uh, kind of try to be compassionate towards yourself as you're going through this transformation because that's what this is it's just a transformation phase and you will come out of it as a new person you know it will be like a new and improved version of you um so one thing you can do is think back upon your childhood and think of the things that brought you joy so a lot of times it could be like playing a particular sport made you really happy or painting made you really happy or music made you really happy or uh, daydreaming made you really happy or um, you know as a child maybe you used to mimic people like mimic teachers in your class and you had a very humorous take on life where everything was fun for you 
um so you have to kind of tap into that energy which is still in you it's only latent you kind of repressed it down so you have to tap into that energy and use it in a good way you know so don't use it in in the wrong audience near the wrong audience because that won't end well but use it in a good way so if if you like mimicking people maybe observe people in your office and then when you come back home maybe you can um, mimic someone to your son or to your daughter you know you can you can bring the fun back in your life in that way or if you liked painting you can go on youtube you can check some painting channels you can buy some supplies and then on the weekend you can dedicate 2 hours of your time for painting uh it could be anything or if you liked playing a particular sport like basketball when you were a kid you can play basketball on the weekends so there's many things you can do to kind of revive the inner child that you had um then the second thing is when kids are young you know they are very truthful because kids don't know so much about consequences but slowly their family and society teaches them about consequences so if you say the if if they blurt out the truth and it's hurtful they will hurt someone or they might not make the person feel good and all of these things so slowly we condition we we learn to condition our throat chakra and um we kind of restrict it you know we are like i can't say this in this environment or i can't say this even if even if like my elder grandma scolds me uh and i didn't do anything wrong i can't talk back to her so you you must have been conditioned by all these beliefs so what you can do is um of course you can't talk back because it is true that people do get hurt and uh sometimes if you're dealing with narcissist or histrionic or bpd people they might just create so much drama that you will regret it and you will feel like oh my god why did i open my mouth so you don't want to go into that regret either so what you do is you can take a piece of paper and write it down whenever you feel something about someone like whenever you are raging on someone you can actually write it down write a letter to them that uh, so and so like grandma like if your grandma had been really mean to you in your childhood so you can write a letter to grandma grandma and whatever she has done you can say that i really hate you for all the trauma that you have put me through and you can uh list all the incidents where you felt like you were being hurt as a child and say someone in your office is bringing up those uh feelings for you again or someone in your family like um a new relationship is say your uh, new girlfriend is bringing up that trauma again what you can do is you can also write a letter to your new girlfriend and then once you have written these letters just read them through properly and then burn them you don't actually have to give it to those people because our objective in all of this is not to heal them or do anything about them really they will do whatever they want to themselves the whole aim of this is to help yourself so when you do this this letter what it is doing it's not practically solving the problem but what it's doing is it's giving a, a release to your emotions so you can't practically go and program someone's brain to speak what you want to hear right because your grandma or your new girlfriend are going to say what they want to say so you can't change that but what you can change is why are you being so triggered by that so one thing you can do to find your authenticity is to release this past trauma so once you release it this way what will happen is ideas will come to your brain very quickly the next time someone is insulting you you will be able to quickly give it back to them so you will kind of go back to the childhood vibration that you had in which your natural response was to kind of protect yourself or whatever your natural response was maybe you fled the situation you used to just leave it or you used to make fun of the person you 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 might do that or uh, the third thing is you might fight that person with your words you can do that but the fawning response will reduce 
right and that's what we want to do we want to reduce the people pleasing the other coping mechanisms might come up so you have to be okay with that you can't always be you won't always be like a monk uh, or you know like an ideal solving it in the best way you might fight them you might free the situation or you might make fun of them or you might um, you don't want to freeze as well uh, but yeah you might also let it go sometimes you know so you might feel it's it's really not worth it and you'll really feel that you'll really feel like you're wasting your time on this person so it won't just be an excuse at that point of you know not retaliating um so yeah that is the second point that release release everything that is stuck in your throat chakra so uh the third point is um it's it it goes a bit spiritual because whenever you are b being a people pleaser and you're not authentically expressing yourself it is a blockage of your throat chakra so the more creatively you learn to express yourself either sing you can paint you can um, even sports is actually creativity because yeah sports do have rules but then within those rules it's a lot of like open space there you know you don't know what is happening the next moment in a sport so you can do some sports even that is creative uh, you can dance so the more creatively you start expressing yourself authentically not to show people not to you know put on facebook or here or there that look at my drawings or look at my dance that is also okay uh, of course if you're advertising it that's a different purpose but the purpose of this is that you are learning to express yourself creatively um so so yeah i mean the purpose of it is to help yourself and then later on if you make it a business that's that's a different uh ball game altogether so so yeah these are some of the tips that i have on how to authentically express yourself and how to find the inner child in yourself if you have been a people pleaser for a long time um, and then the last tip i have is silence so silence will also help you because people pleasers tend to overextend themselves many times so learn to stay silent if saying no is difficult for you uh just stay silent and then if some task gets put on you even though you want to say no do it but do it silently don't falsely say that oh i love to do this so that was this video and i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye